So anyway, uh, Islam grew up in, a, in, in, a, in an area. Arabs were not like Greeks. Greeks had a lot of debates and a lot of history. And they started like going off the track, talking about things that are beyond their minds. Same with the Sasanians known as Persians at the time. And when Muslim, Muslims, the aqidah, the belief that they have taken from the Prophet ﷺ remains simple in its disposition, in its representation for many decades. Until Muslims, some Muslims or some people who came from the Persian and the Greek empire started to embrace Islam. And they came with their background. When someone comes to something with, the, with his or her background, they come with their doubts as well. They come with their questions. They come with their experiences. And at that moment, certain questions started to emerge. And these new Muslims started to ask questions that Muslims have never had an experience with before. At the same time, Muslims started, Muslim civilization started to expand. Muslims took over, Abyss uh, took over Egypt and they had contact with what we call Greek and Roman culture. So Muslims started reading Aristotle and Plato and all of these philosophies. And that, because this is a completely different way of thinking from them, questions started to emerge. They started to ask about things that they have never asked about before. And that has led some Muslim scholars to respond. But when you respond, there are two ways of responding to any challenge, any civilization challenge. Either you think of this challenge as superior to you or as different from you. If you think of it as superior to you, you start mimicking it or compromising your beliefs in order to satisfy it. The simplest example of that is the Americanization of the world. Why do people embrace the American culture, even here? McDonald's and KFC and all of these things, these are, these are representations of an American mentality. And people, Japanese people, who are supposed to be very, very advanced in technology and they're very disciplined individuals, they, they mimic America and everything, isn't it? So that shows you that whatever you get engaged with, you either deal with it as a, as a superior to you. If it's superior to you, you start what? Mimicking them. So for example, if you go to Saudi Arabia, which is uh, Mecca al-Mukarramah, Madi al-Munawara, supposed to be, this is the heartland of Islam. You will not only find KFC and McDonald's there, forget about that, but you will find the Muslim alternatives of KFC and McDonald's patterned after the example of McDonald's. al bayk and Faqih and this and that. All of these shops are replication with Arab name and with Arab flavors and with Arab recipes. But it is, the core idea is what? It's the American idea. The American idea of fast food, numbered meals and serving big numbers, low quality food. So yes, you might find different flavors, but it's the same mentality. It shows you when we engage with a civilization, we think that it's superior to us, so we start coloring our identity according to that.